David Cameron has pledged as part of his the manifesto that um, to promise to try and aim for people in Britain to have a, a good life and as part of that he's pledged to increase the right to buy. Um, how does that benefit people in Hounslow when the average price of a house is 440000 yeah, well, right to buy, that's what's good about it, is that it allows people to buy their council house um, for a reduced market rate. Um, I mean, I think it's really important that people are allowed the opportunity to buy their own home. I mean, most people aspire to be able to do that. Um, and therefore, what we're saying is let's make sure that everyone has the opportunity within this. Um, but, you know, there is generally, in London, um, housing is a difficult issue. We do need to build more homes, but we've got to do it in the right sort of way that is still maintaining our community structure but I've been really pushing the council to make sure we create we create enough affordable homes you know we should not be allowing the council shouldn't be allowing any planning to go through for any development that doesn't have any affordable housing in it you know we need to make sure our doctors our, our, our nurses and our teachers and our police officers these sort of people have somewhere to live in our local communities and therefore that's really important council houses that are bought that are comparable to private houses it's about a 20 percent discount um, from those. Is that enough really? The price is still a huge amount. Is that enough for first time buyers? Well, I, I think it's a great start. You know, it's, and all I've seen is I've spoken to several people in the last few weeks who've said that actually that is a great incentive for them to go and actually do it. So, you know, it's we will see with the take up. It's often you see in the results and the outcomes in terms of whether it, it's, it's right. But I like the fact we've given them the opportunity. It was very successful previously when it was done. We need, to, I think, I want to make sure that everyone gets the chance to have that opportunity to own their own home. Um, and therefore, I think, yeah, let's go, let's go. go do is encourage people to, to try and um, own their own home if they can. How does it help the housing crisis that we are in? House prices are going up and they have been for a long, long time. How does it help to have the government with less houses? We've to, buy, we've to build more. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Um, and if you look around the constituency, we have got quite a lot of new developments taking place. Um, as I say, it has to be the right type of development. Um, local people have to be involved. Local people should be listened to as part of the local plan. Um, so, you know, what's right in perhaps Chiswick may not be right for Brentford and the other way around. Um, but there, ha there are a lot of developments taking place. Um, so we are building more homes. But, you know, I'm just, I'm so worried that the councillor... On that, are there, the ov obviously, um, building houses takes time. It's going to take a lot of time to replace the houses that are going. Does that not worry you? I mean, at the moment, we're still building some of the ones that we've uh, from, from before. So it's, we have said very clearly for every council house that is sold, we will build, we will build another. I mean, the, the, on the council housing waiting list, until recently, there was about 10,000 on the council housing waiting list. Um, and that's where I keep pushing the, the council. They've suddenly taken lots of people off the, the council waiting list. Um, but I've said, you know, we have to absolutely make sure we're providing something for them. So therefore, their, their targets and what they've achieved is not good enough in terms of what, what they've already put into it. But it's money sitting right now in the council that they could use for in building more council houses and they haven't done it. So I will continue to push that with the council to make sure we're building for people who need it. How did you think the debate went tonight? Well, it was, it was great to have a debate with all the five candidates that are, will be there for the election. Um, you know, it gives people a chance to see us all, ask us questions. We didn't get through all the questions, but you know, I have said to people that they should email me if they've got any questions that haven't been asked and answered yet. Um, but you know, this is a close-run uh, election. I think it's the most important election of our generation. I want people to realise how important it is we live in a democracy, we should be proud of our democracy, um, and therefore to have have this where every single vote will count, yes here in this constituency but also nationally. Um, so this is exciting, um, it is really important, for me it's important also because you know I want what we've built in the last five years for us to continue that long term economic plan that we've developed. I don't want to put that at risk with suddenly changing course and increased tax and spending and borrowing. Um, so you know, let's keep to the, to the plan that we have, building a greater Britain and something that is for ourselves and the next generation. You've said about in the debate, you've said you're, it's neck and neck in this constituency, but in September especially, um, 
the po Labour are leading the polls. Are you confident or are you, how are you feeling about that? Well, it, the only poll that really matters is election day and, um, a, and we will get the result probably in the early hours of the morning on the 8th of May. Um, and yes, at that time, Labour appeared to be slightly ahead in the polls. But do you know this? Um, a lot can happen in a few months. We've got 23 days left and a lot can happen in a few days. I think there's still a lot of people who are undecided. Um, so, I, so my team and I will be working even harder in the next um, few days to really get round as many people as we can to speak to them about what matters most to them um, and telling them of what I have done in the last five years because I want people to judge me on my record as well what I have done and um, because yes we've done you know, I feel I have done quite a lot but there's much more to do and I want to be here um, for another five years to be able to deliver that for local people.